Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you transform an object, you can scale, resize, skew, or otherwise adjust the boundaries of the selected object. Many things can be transformed in Photoshop elements like layers, selections, and shapes. To apply a transformation to an object, you must first select the object to transform. To apply a specific, individual transformation to a selected object, then use the commands listed in the side menu that appears when you select Image, Transform from the menu bar. You can select either Skew to horizontally and or vertically slant the object, Distort to warp an object in any direction by stretching it, or Perspective to change the perspective you appear to have in regards to the object. Changing the perspective can come in handy when you shoot an image from below, for example, but want to distort the image to make it look like you took the picture from head-on. If you need to apply multiple transformations to a selected object, you may find it easier to select Image, Transform, Free Transform from the menu bar instead. This command lets you perform all of the transformations using one tool instead of having to perform multiple transformations individually. Note that if you transform a bitmap image, pixels are often added so that the image becomes less sharp with each individual transformation. You can use the free transform command to apply multiple transformations at once to avoid losing sharpness in bitmap images that need to be transformed. Also, the keyboard shortcut for this command is Ctrl plus T on your keyboard. After you select the free transform command, you will see the bounding box surround the selected object. Note the small circle or crosshair that appears in the middle of the bounding box. This is the reference point around which the transformations will occur. To change the given center for the transformation effects, Click one of the small circles that appear in the Reference Point Location button in the Tool Options bar to set the desired reference point. You can also scale the image by changing the width and height shown as percentages within the W and H fields provided in the Tool Options bar. If you check the Constrained Proportions checkbox and then change one of these percentages, the other percentage will change to keep the current proportions. To the right of that, you can change the angle of the image by clicking into the angle circle or by entering a value into the Degrees field just below the circle. To freely distort a selected object, hold down the Control key on your keyboard and then click and drag one of the resizing handles of the selected object. To skew the object, hold down the Control plus Shift keys on your keyboard and then click and drag with the mouse on one of the resizing handles that appear on the sides of the object's bounding border to slant the object. Alternatively, click the Skew button that appears at the left end of the Tool Options bar, and then click and drag with the mouse on one of the resizing handles. To change the perspective of a selected object, hold down the Control, Alt, plus shift keys on your keyboard, and then click and drag the selected object by one of its corner resizing handles. To rotate an object, hold your mouse pointer slightly outside one of the resizing handles until it turns into a curved arrow. Then click and drag to rotate the selected object. Note that you can also click the Rotate button that appears at the left end of the Tool Options bar to force the rotation arrows to appear when you hold your mouse pointer slightly outside of a resizing handle if you want to rotate while another mode like Scale or Skew is selected. Note that you can also press Ctrl plus T on your keyboard to reset the transformation mode that is selected if desired. To move a selected object, Place your mouse inside of its bounding border over the object itself and click and drag with the mouse to move it to a new location. To resize the selected object, select the Scale option at the left end of the Tool Options bar and then place your mouse pointer over a resizing handle until it turns into a double pointed arrow. Click and drag at that point in either direction shown by the arrow to resize the shape. When you are finished making your transformations, 
Click the Confirm checkmark in the image to apply the transformations, or click the Cancel button to cancel the transformations. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.